Hi, brothers and sisters. Praise God. I'm so glad that I have another day to tell you guys about the Lord Jesus and share my dreams and and um, which which is uh, help teach me and teach others about the grace of God and how to come to salvation in Jesus Christ. If you guys hear there's a lawnmower. I'm out here in the backyard and John's mowing the lawn back here and trying to weed eat. So, but, um, anyway, I got an, uh, some other thing too, before I start my dream that I had was, um, I got a notice from MobiZen, MobiZen, those, uh, all of you that use MobiZen maybe to do your videos or whatever. I just got a notice that they are updating their app pretty soon and that is going to take the internal recording sound away. So if you do videos and you, and it's not going to take the external like our voices and doing a video, but if you try to mirror someone else's video with Mobizen, you won't be able to. They're going to take that away. So how to fix that is you go into your um, Google store and you go, you click the, the top left screen, find it in your installed apps, click it, and then uh, you click the app, and then when, it, when it, the page opens up, there's some dots in the upper right-hand corner, you click that, and you disable the automatic update. And that's gonna be on the 13th. So they're gonna take that feature away, and I'm telling you guys, um, they do not want us recording other people's uh, sharing, you know, other news outlets around the world or whatever. They just, I think um, governments and different people ha uh, have been complaining. And I mean, why would they do that? You know, Mobizen app was actually developed for gamers to um, record their screens and the sound that's going on with it, you know, for between gamers. And so now they're gonna take this feature away, I think because a lot of us are using it. A lot of people are using it to mirror and show what's going on in the world and news outlets and things like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if other applications that also have these features will be disabled in time. So they're, we're under, I just feel like we're under attack, you guys. Okay, so I want to share this dream with you. The dream was that <clears throat> I had a view like this of this picture on my screen. And I was watching like this, it was like a Garth Brooks concert. And he was up on stage and he was singing and, and you know, he's dressed like a cowboy. He's singing cowboy songs and stuff and... Um, there's all these people listening and I'm watching and I see my father and he's up on stage and he's, he's trying to participate with these people and say, Hey, Hey, you know, and, and, and let me sing and Hey, following them around, you know, they're off walking around. It's different people from YouTube and they're all dressed up like cowboys. You know, they're at the, they're in the arena. They're trying to rope these bulls and cows cows are in the bible are people that are displeasing to god or they're not saved or they're you know they have the hide of the bulls which is like a sacrifice they the they use them to sacrifice on the altar for the forgiveness of their sins right so my dad my father's up there and i see and I'm, i get excited i'm like <gasps> so i i I see him trying to talk to these people. Hey, include me. Include me. And finally he gives up. And he and on the stage appears um, all these closets. And he walks into one of these closets. It was like a secret door. And nobody noticed. But I noticed that he walked into this closet. So I ran up to the stage. And I followed him into the closet. And when I got in there and shut the door... Every, everything went silent. You couldn't hear anybody outside. You couldn't hear anybody on the stage. You couldn't hear any crowds. And I saw him standing there, and, he, and this time it was Jesus. He had a robe on, and he was 
He had his kind of standing there with his hands behind his back, just resting. And he was looking out one of the sides of the closets had a window and he could see everybody. And he was just standing there watching everybody. Um, like, you know, move to the music of these, this country music concert and all these people. And, and I saw this beautiful shimmering gold come around us like liquid glitter floating in the sky it was just everywhere like prisms in this closet and it was just so beautiful and then I began to realize I became very sad because I knew these people that were outside they they had no clue where my father was and they had no clue how to how to get to my father they had no idea where this secret door was where he came and and they would not include him in their in their show and i became really sad because i knew they didn't have access they couldn't get in there and i woke up okay so there's a lot of people that are trying to uh, do YouTube channels and talking about this and talking about that and it's it's like a game to them You know, they're they're dressed like they're like they're gonna go wrangle some bulls or something, but Hi, babe How's it going? <laughs> anyway, so they're they're dressed like they're going to go, you know, wrangle some bulls and catch some fish or, you know, go do some hunting, some, some hunting, uh, fishers of men and saving of souls and everything. But it's a game. It's like a big production show. And they're not including Jesus, which means that they're not including the cross. They're not including the blood. They're focusing on, uh, you're a sinner and you're not going in the rapture. And it's this big production videos fireballs falling from the sky and everything else and you know they're not preaching uh justification and salvation by grace alone and i saw my father was very sad and they're not they're not in prayer they're not praying for the lost you know the the uh, my father entered the closet you know what is the term a lot of us use your prayer closet um they're not staying uh, they're not trying, you know, they're up there, blah, blah, blah. They got, they, they're, they look the, the part, you know, they're playing the part, but they're not walking the part. And they're not preaching the blood and they're not staying in constant communication with God. I mean, if you're going to have a channel, you have to do that. You have to know, they're saying, thus saith the Lord, and God says this, and God says that. Well, God told them no such thing. That was from your flesh and your fears. That was from their fears, you know, because they're not even preaching the right gospel. It's an accursed gospel. It's not even a gospel. It's something that's been twisted and manufactured because people haven't understood what the, the scriptures actually say, you know, and even Jesus said it back then. There are people that's crept in unaware. They turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. They replace one gospel for another or one message for another. And I just feel like, you know, they say they write all the stuff out. The God told me this last night. And then it's like daughter or son, you know, write this stuff down. And then it's like a three, four, five, six, ten page thing or like a, a eight paragraph thing well I'm telling you if if you're really remembering an eight paragraph thing that God told you then God bless you if he's really audibly speaking out loud to you another voice not a voice in your head or a voice you know what I mean um if you're in a in an awake vision that is possible I've seen that as possible but really it comes down to is that they're talking from their own flesh and from an accursed gospel because they don't know what the true gospel is because they don't believe in eternal salvation. They believe you have to work for your salvation. And the Bible says that his grace is sufficient for you. 
And the Bible says that all those that believe upon him would have eternal life. Because God loved the world, he sent his son, which is him in the flesh. He came in the flesh and walked amongst men and the, the world knew him not. They rejected him. He was, he's the cornerstone. And they rejected the cornerstone and the cornerstone has become a stumbling block to them because they don't understand. And they're still in the law. They're still in the old covenant. They're still under the the law of Moses and um, they don't understand and they're up on the stage you know running around like putting on this production I'm so holy and I'm so this and I'm so that and they're missing the deeper things of God and his love and his mercy and a true relationship that comes with through grace that comes with knowing that that you are filthy rags it means um that's what mean what it means when when you forsake your flesh you you it's something you realize in your mind it doesn't mean quit sinning quit all your sins to be worthy that's not what that means this is the deeper things of god you guys and I followed my father in there in the closet and I was so sad. I mean, not like I'm anything or, or anything. I'm, I realize what I am. I'm a sinner saved by grace through faith. You know, it's, it's not of my works. It's not of any special pen rose on my nose thing I ever did. It's not about how obedient I've ever been. It's about Jesus's obedience through one man's obedience. That's Jesus' obedience. We have eternal life. And for all those that believe, right? Right. The Bible does not contradict itself. So there's a lot of these verses and chapters and things that people read that's not even for the church. It's not even for the, the believer, the new believer, the Gentile. It's for the Jews. And it's during the tribulation period. They will have to strive to enter in. They will have to pray that they be counted worthy. See, it's so important to rightly divide the word. And like the, the wise virgins, that's not for us. That's for the tribulation period. Okay? So... It's so important to get with Jesus immediately <laughs> and, and don't be opening your mouth if you don't know what you're saying. And I, I did, I used to, I didn't know what I was saying and I was like, blah, 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 you know, copying what other people said, copying what this person said, thinking on this, um, Speaking out of fear, because I wasn't in peace with God yet, because I didn't realize about grace. Um, but I just felt bad, you guys. I felt bad. And the people that were up there putting on this production show, they, they wouldn't include Jesus, which is, is the cross. It's his precious blood that was spilled for us on the cross. His blood that had no sin. He knew no sin because he was God and he had no sin in his, in his blood in his DNA. He was, he was, he was clean and holy and without spot or wrinkle. And that's the only way that we become clean and holy and without spot or wrinkle is his righteousness given to us. It's not something we do in our flesh. It's our confession of faith. And we don't have to do anything to be saved. We, we believe upon him. The thief of the cross did nothing to be saved. Do you think he was doing works? Do you think he did anything good before he acknowledged that Jesus, why are you here? You have done nothing. You haven't done anything. He acknowledged that Jesus was without sin and that Jesus had done nothing wrong. And Jesus told him, today you will be with me in paradise. And that's it. It's the gospel is simple. And when you listen to these people, they're putting on these, these shows on their channel or wherever else in the church building or wherever else, God is dismayed. 
He's sad. He's watching all this going on. He's watching all the, I call them legalists or cops, you know, going around uh, living the law and, and pulling people over because they're not following the law. He's watching all this happening and recording it in heaven. He knows everything and what your intentions are of the heart and why you're doing what you're doing, why you're saying what you're saying. Um, when he, he sees everything. And so, um, anyway, I also, too, wanted to point out, too, that, you know, the, um, I've been having a lot of dreams about Britain, and my last dream was, I was listening to this conversation, this long conversation, people were speaking in British accent, and now, Meghan Markle has her baby, and it's like, Charles and Camilla run off to Germany to meet with Angela Merkel. It's like they timed it just right. And they're, they're over there. They were over there for three days. I think they, this was the fourth day. They probably left by now. I don't know. But, you know, you could see them eating with Angela, this and that. Um, Angela gave them a present for um, baby Archie for their grandson. And it was a, a bear a teddy bear. How crazy is that, right? How symbolic. And um, so they're making alliances, you guys. And Merkel is, uh, was in bed with, not literally, but, you know, best buds with Obama, best buds with Bush, best buds with, um, Bill Clinton, they're all over there having camp out sleepovers and popcorn parties at Camp David. Um, there's pictures of them. They're all together. And Putin, too. Putin's all having a sleepover at Camp David with all of them. You know, it's... And now, here comes uh, the crown. The earthly crown, okay? And I've been wondering when they are going to step in. There's been all this drama with, oh, Meghan Markle and, the, and Prince Harry and yada yada. Okay, when are they going to, to make it look like, when are they going to let on whose side they're on? Who's who are they alliancing with? And now they, oh, they just went to Germany. And where's Germany at? Germany's with, with uh, you know, making buddy friends with Putin and, and as for Iran and all these places. And so we kind of look, we kind of realize where the alliance lays with them now. So keep your eye on uh, Charles and the British, uh, the royal family and what Merkel's doing right now. She is, I don't know. Just keep your eye on what's going on with Britain and everything over there right now and um, Russia and Turkey. Turkey's going to be doing something crazy pretty soon. I don't know. What just I'm just thinking back on my dreams. Um, because I never knew about this stuff, you guys. I, you know, I wasn't like, God had to show me. God had to show me that Russia, Turkey, and Iran were going to alliance. I had no idea what their names were in the Bible. I had no idea what this stuff was. And the Lord told me turquoise is the color of war. And, um, and then I saw writing on the wall. And then me and John walked into this big banquet hall and I looked over the top of me. I didn't even know what the menorah was, you guys. I had no idea about Jewish this or um, when the Lord told me Nissan was talking to me about Nissan in a dream. I thought he was talking about a car. <laughs> I, like, I had no idea about any of the stuff when the Lord started giving me dreams and visions and audibles. I had no clue. And... So when I woke up saying uh, Nissan 40 days or something to those who are watching Nissan 40 days or something like that, I can't remember. I was like, Nissan, why is the Lord talking about a car? <laughs> so I've learned so much um, just from the Lord speaking to me in dreams about try, he's trying to get me ca caught up you guys politically I guess and with prophecy and what's about to happen and things like that so 
You know, God is so good, you guys. He is so awesome. If you open your heart to him and want to know what the truth is and what his word really says, he will take you by the hand and he will lead you step by step by step. And he's so patient. If you block out what others are saying, someone said, uh, if you block out and, 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 and guard your eyes and your ear gates, God will tell you the truth. He will show you the truth about things. But you have to have an open heart and you cannot react with your flesh. You have to crucify your flesh when he's trying to teach you things. Because your flesh, your remember how I talked about your carnal mind? Your mind will try to get in there and mess around with what the Holy Spirit's trying to show you and teach you. And you have to throw out the old covenant. You have to throw that out because we're not under that anymore. You have to look at everything through. We're saved by our confession in Jesus Christ. And he will prove to you that is correct. If, if you let him. If you're not scared and you put your trust in Jesus, he will show you that is correct. He will show you that he died for your future sins. Your whole way of reading, line by line, word by word, dividing the scripture will change. You will see things in the way you're supposed to see things. You will chew and eat and digest your food in the way, your spiritual food, in the way you're supposed to. Okay? <laughs> I had to learn this stuff. All right, anyway, this uh, video is getting long, but I love you guys be watching Jesus is coming or he's going to take us so soon and um, it's going to be awesome you guys and God bless you